Uh, hello, uh, all viewers of Kinney. Uh, I'm going to talk today about the outcomes of the high level panel on water process. Uh, the, uh, there's a lot of news here. Uh, uh, two weeks ago at the United Nations headquarters in New York, uh, the representatives of the high level panel handed over their final report to the Secretary General of the United Nations. Uh, he at a ceremony uh, event. Uh, the panel has operated for two years. Um, you know, its job was to raise awareness and promote the importance of Sustainable Development Goal 6, which uh, in summary is that uh, all governments have committed to achieve safe water and sanitation for all their people uh, by 2030, which is only 12 years from now. Uh, the the panel was set up to raise political awareness of that challenge uh, and the importance of, of achieving that uh, goal. Uh, and uh, uh, members of the panel um, presented their outcomes uh, to the Secretary General in several ways. Uh, firstly, they presented this report uh, called um, Making Every Drop Count an Agenda for Water Action, which sets out the panel's views on what needs to be done to achieve the, uh, the, the promise of safe water and sanitation for all people um, uh, in the time frame that's been committed. Uh, second, they issued an open letter uh, which to all heads of government of the world, which is publicly available, um, setting out the key messages uh, that the panel wanted to um, disseminate uh, to them. Uh, and I'll come back to the importance of that. Uh, thirdly, uh, they released a video uh, uh, on, um, on these issues, um, uh, and it's a short video, and I'd encourage you to watch it. If you want to see the video or um, get any of this information, um, all you do is type HLPW into your search engine, four letters, and it will all be there. It will be the first thing that comes up on a Google search is the, uh, is the link uh, to the uh, High Level Panel on Water website where the video is the first thing you'll see, um, three minutes long, uh, and the information that I've been uh, talking about is all there. So that if you want the authoritative uh, uh, outcomes of the panel, that's where you find them. The video um, has three key messages. Uh, and they're summarised in the words, turn it off, turn it on, and turn it up. Okay? So the video is, the pilot level panel is saying in the video, it's time that we all turned off denial about how difficult and important these problems are, turned off the pollution, uh, turned off the, um, the, um, uh, the causes uh, of these um, uh, uh, of the challenge that we have. Uh, we have, and the, the panel is saying in the video, it's time to turn on the solutions. Um, and that there are solutions. They're set out in this report. Um, so there's very good news here. That is, yes, we have a monumental challenge. Uh, all governments have. Um, uh, but um, there are ways of addressing those challenges. Uh, and uh, so turn on the solutions, the innovation, the investment, the ideas, the political will that's required to get there. And turn up the way we do things. Turn up the energy on this, the, the um, intensity uh, and uh, how we um, turn up the heat on those that are not um, performing well in this great challenge. Uh, so that is the key message of the video, you really, to understand the panel's purpose and objectives, please watch the video. Um, the open letter to leaders of the world, the key thing there is that to reinforce that this is a problem that must be addressed at the national level. You can't rely on other people to solve this problem for you. As a leader, a political leader, you made a commitment, a very ambitious commitment, but a very important commitment that has fantastic opportunity for your country to make your to improve conditions and your society in the way you promised. Um, 
So the letter is, is reminding <laughs> leaders of that commitment um, and the, the need for sound policy at the national level to, to um, be put in place to deliver. Uh, the letter is also making the point that everybody who reads it has a role to play here, not just the political leaders to whom it's addressed. Uh, so it, it makes a statement, um, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you live, we all have a shared responsibility uh, to change the future of water. Uh, so that is a, a resounding call from the panel um, to, for everybody to get behind this agenda. Yes, the letter is addressed to the political leadership of the world, but lots, we hope, lots of opinion leaders and people in society will read the letter and we want them to take um, initiative uh, from the letter and be incentivised uh, to do so. Um, in terms of the panel outcome, I, I, I would say there's broadly two types of outcomes. There are recommendations on policy. What are the policy changes that need to be put in place at the national level and by the international community to uh, make it possible to achieve uh, the Sustainable Development Goals? Uh, then there are practical um, outcomes as well. Um, products that have been issued in the life of the panel, which countries can use at, in, at a practical level uh, to help them get their guidance materials and so forth. Uh, so, um, uh, for example, Australia has um, led the development of several of these. There's the Water Guide, which is a, um, a, a fairly uh, simple but important iteration of the key um, measures that policy needs to have to create incentives for people to use water efficiently. Uh, and um, uh, without those incentives, water will be wasted. Uh, and um, uh, and um, so it, it maps out key elements of the core policy, core policy elements that are good practice in all societies. Um, second, uh, we, we have just issued this guide to managing water for the environment. Um, uh, similarly, practical advice to governments. We have issued the, guide, the guidance material on water data management, uh, how to improve the foundations for um, policy making through better information. Um, so these are practical examples of practical things that have been issued in the life of the panel. Uh, the three I've just mentioned are, are, have been done by Australia, but other countries too. The Netherlands have led on a major initiative on valuing water and with, with um, principles and so forth, a bit of a toolkit in preparation on that. Uh, now, at the policy level, these are the, this is the, um, the content that um, will really drive change. Um, the practical things will help drive some change, but unless you have the policy measures in place, um, it will be very difficult uh, to get there. Um, the, the policy work of the panel starts from the premise that we are not on track. If things keep going the way they are, many countries, most countries, will not achieve the goals they have promised to achieve. So that is a hard message, um, uh, but a very important one. That is, the status quo is not good enough. Some countries are actually going backwards. Um, and there is United Nations published information which is validating these concerns. Uh, some countries are going backwards, some are on track, most are not on track. So that is a big wake-up call. So the, the report uh, has um, a wake-up call to start the policy discussion. So that means things have to change. Things have to change. At all, uh, many things have to change. And uh, the um, the report sets out its approach to that problem, uh, which I've talked about in previous interviews, um, the, the conceptual approach to dealing with this through, um, through um, um, thematic 
um, themes and areas, um, the underpinning uh, uh, requirements around data, around valuing water and around governance, um, and so on, the, um, the, the sort of the thematic and approach the panel took, uh, which it has stuck with. Um, but what is new uh, are the, uh, the key recommendations uh, of the panel, uh, which um, have been um, developed by the panel and are put, put out there. The audience, the primary audience for them being the, um, the uh, uh, political leadership uh, and opinion leadership uh, of the world. Um, many of these will be difficult to implement at the political level. Um, otherwise, they would have been done and we would be on track. We're not on track because they're so difficult. Uh, so there's nothing easy about this. Um, uh, so therefore, um, the more people that understand and, and um, are willing to uh, back these sorts of recommendations in, then the easier it will be to implement them at the political level. Um, it's very easy just to keep criticising political leaders for not achieving goals uh, or, for, uh, or for implementing particular things which are difficult at the local level. Um, but to be constructive party partner in this quest, um, the important thing is to be able to work with governments and help them do the difficult things that have to be done. Uh, so, um, uh, the uh, recommendations um, are many, um, and I'm not going to go through them all, um, but let me just pick some headline uh, recommendations for you. Um, uh, in the issues around sanitation, um, the um, recommendations are to focus uh, on, uh, uh, on the service delivery models, uh, on the, um, the, vul the most vulnerable uh, communities, um, the, imp the, the importance of gender and the reality that the burden of poor sanitation outcomes largely falls on women and children uh, the, um, uh, who are put at great, great risk due to failed um, outcomes uh, in this area. Um, so on the sanitation front, we are, the panel is recommending that uh, all countries that are able to do so get behind the Water and Sanitation and All Partnership, uh, which is uh, very, which is very universal and comprehensive agenda of change um, and uh, raise the priority uh, of this issue in national policy thinking. Um, there are recommendations on disaster management, uh, which essentially are, are that um, the key thing is to, is to prioritise preparedness and um, uh, over response. <laughs> um, that is, be better prepared for these things in all sorts of ways, and the Sendai framework sets all that out. Um, and then it will be less, there's be less cost and trauma involved in responding to these disasters, waterborne disasters. Um, and deal with this and deal with the risks up front. Um, uh, and um, um, that is um, a risk management paradigm rather than a wait and see and respond paradigm, uh, which has tended to govern many uh, the handling of um, disasters in, in some places. Um, in terms of building, building resilient economies, uh, the panel is arguing hard for more focus on water use efficiency and measures to um, respond and be um, on the front foot with water use efficiency. I mentioned the water guide having policy in place that creates incentives for efficiency. There will also be practical guidance from prepared by Australia on how to achieve efficiency in the irrigation sector, and in the and there will be uh, there will be an initiative to create a new um, international standard on how water using equipment is labelled, so consumers have better awareness of how efficient uh, equipment is. Um, on investment, investment has to double or triple or some say even 
exceed that in order to make it possible to achieve uh, the goals. Um, so what has to happen with investment is, uh, well, many things which are laid out in the panel report, but uh, the key to it all is to improve the climate, uh, the, invest the investability of water and sanitation uh, services. That means taking risk as much as possible uh, out, uh, out of these, um, uh, these services. Uh, that is not easy. Um, it, it entails um, principles around pricing and capacity for the private sector to invest uh, that are um, always going to be controversial uh, at the local level and very difficult to implement politically, but we can't, can't achieve the increases in investment required, which are trillions of dollars, unless it's safe to invest in this sector. Safe for superannuation funds, safe for or pension funds, safe for, um, uh, for um, the private investment community. Um, so the language of the panel is about improving the enabling environment um, and um, all that goes with that. Um, and also there are recommendations about disclosure of um, uh, exposure to water-related risks and the, the need for the uh, finance sector to be more aware of what it is getting into, both positive and negative. Um, um, and for the new forms of finance, new financing vehicles to be established. Um, this is terribly important content. We, the, the goal cannot be achieved without a major increase in financing in water, which is about priorities. And at the end of the day, that requires it to be safer to invest and more positive, uh, the, the, the water sector to be a more attractive place for investment than it has been in the past. And then, then the resources will come in. There's plenty of resources in the world, financial resources to invest in water. The issue is to attract them into the water sector. Um, uh, uh, there are um, uh, recommendations on the environment. There are recommendations on urban, on the urban uh, sector. Uh, there are re important recommendations about the importance of partnerships, uh, how um, uh, people have to work together here. Um, sectors of the society that might have been at loggerheads need to come together on this. Um, uh, uh, and there are there are recommendations um, uh, on the. Um, issues of transboundary water um, and um, the need for um, countries sharing watersheds to collaborate very actively, uh, to share information um, and to, um, uh, to develop um, standards that they agree on for data and um, uh, develop the legal frameworks that will sort of lock in uh, cooperation uh, going forward uh, on these. Um, so that, that has been the important content. And there is um, content around um, uh, the importance of um, uh, dealing with these issues proactively to head off future um, 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 future conflicts and uh, and the displacement of people that can arise uh, from that, which in turn can create major water um, challenges in some parts of the world that are receiving uh, large numbers of displaced uh, people. Um, and finally, there are recommendations about what the UN, what the international system as a whole can do to support those countries that are trying to implement uh, these policies um, and. Um, the, the, the recommendations um, um, include uh, the use of the UN Water Decade, uh, which has just been launched on World Water Day last week, uh, to, to provide a platform where countries can share their experiences and um, create new partnerships uh, to work jointly through these issues. Um, uh, and the panel, one of the particular suggestions of the panel is that each year of the water decade be themed uh, to a particular uh, issue that the panel has identified uh, that needs uh, 
to be achieved. Um, so um, this is the policy content uh, of the panel's work. Um, uh, the report isn't very long, but by compared with many of these sorts of things, it's around 30 pages long. Uh, I do, um, if you're, if you're uh, interested and committed to these issues, I would ask or encourage you to read the report. Uh, it's on that website I mentioned, HLPW is all you have to put into the search engine. Uh, there's four letters to remember, um, and um, it's all there. Uh, the report is all there, the practical guidance, materials that I was uh, talking about uh, is all there. The video is there. Um, the open letter uh, is there, as, as well as lots of uh, further material. Uh, for example, for each of the um, recommendations, um, there is there are this more detailed material uh, in a package of supporting material that people who are really uh, want to want to drill down a bit more uh, into uh, what's behind what's going on with that recommendation can do that. Um, uh, and um, we also, of course, um, um, uh, uh, there are, you know, the, the panel member countries and their representatives can always, any, any of us can, can uh, explain uh, further uh, what the panel uh, intended and you should contact us if, um, if you, you want to. Um, uh, so uh, that is, um, that is uh, what's happened. Um, it's, it's very important and very positive that we now have clarity as to the, as to the, as to the solutions to this great challenge. Um, um, it's not because, because the consequences of not getting there are so significant and the potential benefits of getting there is so great for social betterment and, and the betterment of life in the world. Um, uh, it's terribly important that governments take these issues very, very seriously and prioritise them at the national level. Um, the High Level Panel has tried to, to um, encourage that at the political level uh, and has set out the steps that it believes need to be put in place uh, to get there and some practical materials to help. So uh, that's all uh, I can really say at this level. Um, uh, we could talk for hours about the underlying content, um, but I do hope that's been helpful uh, for viewers uh, of Kinney uh, to, um, uh, to understand what's going on here uh, and to um, uh, take it up themselves uh, with their governments and um, and uh, make headway on this great and important quest that we